this foam placemat. It's a very quick and easy project for younger children. And if you have a party, you can go ahead and stock up on all of the supplies and then actually kind of multi-purpose it. You make it part of the entertainment. It's a little project that they make. Then they can use it as decoration for their tables. And then when the party's over, they can actually take it home as a party favor. So it actually serves many different purposes. Uh, basically, all it is is foam with little embellishments that you can buy by the pack. As you see here, this is a little house with bats and a cute little moon and some stars. And again, the back is just sticky paper. And then there are letters. Here are some pumpkins if you want to spell out the name. Basically, what I did for here, I spelled out my name. And you just pop out the letters. And you can do it any way you want. You could either use the foam letters like that or you can use something in contrast. But that actually goes better on purple and something darker. For this one, I'm going to use the orange foam. And basically, I'm going to put down my Happy Halloween letters. Now, the, the Happy Halloween only came in orange and Trick or Treat was in black. But because of the contrast issue, I actually just took a Sharpie and, and put black over that. And then I had my black letters. And then this is the sheet that this little witch came on. And as you can see, it all comes all very coordinated and very cute. And you just peel it off. And this, you don't even have to peel the, the paper. Just peel the witch off. And so the witch can go down there on this little broom. And you see, it's, it's so easy, but it actually looks like you spent a lot of time on it. I put those little boots upside down and her little trick-or-treat bag. You can just put the candy wherever you want all around there. And just have fun with it. And kids, it'll take a child, a younger child, a little longer to do than, than it takes me or you. So it keeps them entertained for a little while. And again, there's no glue. You don't have to mess with cleaning up any glue. Okay, and then you just add some more embellishments, little ghosts, little words, whatever the kids want. It doesn't have to be exactly like this. And then for the names, I actually went down to the craft store and I found these pumpkins that have letters and they're sticky back again, like our other foam um, stickies. And you just punch out the letters and they can either use the letter or you, they can use the pumpkin with the cutout. And that's actually an added little fun project to have the kids going digging through there, through the box to find the letters that make their names. And they end up with feeling um, a sense of accomplishment that they could spell their names. And there you have it. You have a personalized little placemat that was fun to make and then the kids get to take home.